With restrictions relaxed in China, COVID-19 is spreading like wildfire, raising concerns a volatile new variant could emerge, just as the World Health Organization warns variant surveillance is dwindling. Are we ready to take the hit of another wave of a new variant that might emerge? Uh, I don't think so. If you look at all of these, mm -hmm. they all have those mutations. At Simon Fraser University, Fiona Brinkman and her team are tracking a soup of variants spreading in Canada. You're taking this data and then trying to be a detective and figure out, you know, what's happening and what might be happening in the future. The data comes from ongoing COVID-19 testing. It provides genetic sequences or fingerprints from the virus. Those sequences kind of look like barcodes that change as the virus mutates. Most mutations are slight and harmless. But at this time last year, scientists spotted a sequence with a shocking number of mutations. Omicron set off an explosion of cases that continues to burden the healthcare system. One of the important components about this work is to really catch those new variants uh, that are really significant as soon as possible. Catching a new variant early can guide public health decisions, hospital staffing and vaccine campaigns, but it requires sifting through millions of samples. These variants are carrying more mutations than we'd expect. At Western University, Art Poon is working with data scientists at home and abroad, building programs to track specific mutations in the virus. We then now have a sort of a short list of mutations that we're particularly concerned about. Mainly three parts of the virus that affect how easily it spreads, whether it causes more severe illness, and how well it skirts our immune defenses. I don't want to say it, but it's probably likely that we'll see something like uh, another variant of concern again. Scientists say the best defense against any current or new virus variants is a fresh dose of a COVID-19 vaccine, something millions of people in China are now lining up for. Christine Birak, CBC News, Toronto.